last time I talked about the Clever Trike, which is a great trike, but it has some eh, room for improvement. This is my effort to remedy some of its flaws and bring some aspects of it up to date. So, like the Clever Trike, it's front wheel drive. The chain runs directly from the cranks to the front wheel. Um, it's what's called the moving bottom bracket, so when you turn, the pedals turn with the front wheel, and it's a tilting trike, so it can lean in to a turn, rather than flipping the way a non-tilting trike would do if you took a turn too fast. It also means that if you're riding along and you go over a bump, this goes bump and your seat doesn't necessarily move that much, which is kind of a nice feature. You can even ride along with one one wheel up on a curb and not notice it much. Um, some of the major changes between this and the original Clever type include the wheelbase, the length between the front and rear wheels. This one is a lot longer, you can see. The reason for that is so that more of the rider's and the cargo's weight is on the front wheel. That means that the front wheel has better traction, it's less prone to slipping on steep hills or loose ground. It also has a different steering geometry. Um, on the flow brake, the steering pivot is up here, it's I think at about 40 degrees, and the pivot axis for the steering comes to ground just in front of the tire. This uses the Python steering geometry, Python Low Racer by Jürgen Med. Oh, I don't know how you pronounce his last name. Anyway, Python Low Racer, you can look it up. Um, the steering pivot is back here behind the front wheel, and it's at about a 60 degree angle, and the place where the pivot intersects with the ground is behind the front wheel, which means it doesn't have the same kind of dynamics as a traditional bike, but it does have this sort of odd feature where if it's tilted over, if it's, if it's steering, and you go to sit on the seat, your weight forces the steer steering to go straight. Um, also, some practical upgrades to bring this in line with modern cycling technology, where that uses hydraulic rim brakes by Magura. I think they're the HS33. This has a disc brake on the front, and you could use disc brakes on the rear wheels as well, but I haven't mounted them. These rear wheels are standard 12 millimeter through axle mountain bike hubs, which means that I can use a dynamo hub on the left hand side here. I don't know if you can see, but that's a dyno hub, a pretty common Shimano model. Um, and because I was building this without much of a workshop available, the construction methods are a little unusual. It's based in large part on the um, XYZ cargo construction system created by N55. They're a, I think, Dutch design collective. Um, so it's all aluminum tubing bolted together, and the seat is based on the design that some cheap builders have been using for a while now. It's plywood with holes drilled in it, cut to shape with a jigsaw, and then these are just standard oak dowels pushed through the holes, and it's got a Ventist seat pad on top. Um, it has way better traction than the original Flever Trike. It's, it's noticeably different going up a hill or riding in loose ground. You just don't slip the way you do on the original. Um, it also has some slightly different dynamics with the tilting mechanism because with the Flever Trike, the pivot for the tilting is right near the handlebars. There's a lot of room for this to tilt in between the handlebars. I didn't realize that was going to be a factor on this. And so the tilting pivot is back here, the handlebars are up here. And that means the seat 
bumps into the handlebars a lot sooner than it would on the original Clever Trike. It's still perfectly rideable, but something I'd change in the future. Um, oh, also, this has a built-in hitch for the Bikes at Work trailer, where it was more of an add-on for the Plevo, uh, something I came up with later. And since I didn't have the facilities for making a nice rotomolded plastic trunk and fiberglass lid, this cargo bed here, much like the Bikes at Work trailers, has room for a Rubbermaid plastic tub to sit in here. I don't have it handy, but it can just plop on there. And um, The end result is a pretty good trike, but I think I'm actually going to be pulling some of it apart soon for a different project, and I suspect if and when it goes back together, it'll be in a different configuration.